Why are you so awkward? I'm not awkward. You're awkwardly standing behind me. Hello, friends. We are going to talk business today. And by business, I mean his business and what he does for a living. If you haven't seen our videos of me going up to the shoe store, it only happens every couple years. <laughs> so I went up last year and maybe the year before. So he's we're going to split and have to take his car in to get fixed. And then as soon as we get back together, we're going to talk business. We'll talk. Oh, my goodness. No, it'll be exciting. It'll be good. I don't know. I mean... <laughs> I'm tired. I'm I know, really I'm blitzed. Tired, I'm having so. to like do these things to keep going because I'm really, really tired today, so. But it'd be cool. Yeah, we'll talk about what we do and stuff. Yeah, okay. Oh, I thought your car was out front. It's down here. Okay. All right, I've got Jason on the phone. Do you want to say hi? Hey, how's it going? Exciting. <laughs> He's in the car right ahead of me, but I can't show you because I can't see his license plate. But I thought I would ask Jason a few basic questions about being a business owner before we start diving into it. Do you like owning your own business? Most days. <laughs> right now, it's <laughs> not, not so much, right? No, no, it's not bad now. But I mean, I think uh, anyone who works in a corporate job, they go home and they say, Man, I just want to have my own business and be my own boss and have freedom. And I think anybody who owns their own business is like, I'd rather I just want to be able to go home from I just work. Want to be able to go home from work. If I, if my computer breaks, call IT. If toilet backs up, call maintenance. Uh, I don't have to be every single department at every single time. Um, the grass is always greener on the other side. Yeah. So there's pros and cons to every setup. Yeah. I have enjoyed. Uh, you know, being a business owner and, you know, there's been ups, there's been downs. There's things that I like, things that I don't. The ideal business is a business with no employees, no inventory to have any issues with, no landlord. I don't, like, I, none of that exists. What business would that be? It's not. Yeah, it's that's not. not a business. I know, but... <laughs> All right, well, we'll get you back in the car with me here in a second and we will talk about it. All righty. Okay, he's gonna go and drop the keys off and then he'll be right back. This is the place that he had it fixed during the last accident and when they fixed, they had, he had that rattle in the car. I don't know if you guys remember that. They were the ones who kind of diagnosed and figured out where it was causing the problem and sent him across the street to have a specialty shop fix it. So this has become his like mechanic place of choice. Fingers crossed that we can actually get this car fixed in two days. Otherwise I'm gonna be stuck without my car for like an entire week and I I can't handle that. So we'll, he'll be right back with us. All right, so we dropped the car. Let's talk about how long have we had, well, what is your business? Why don't you tell them for the new people? All right, so <laughs> it's a little different doing this. We own a specialty shoe store. What it is is, you know, the sit and fit, comfort, family owned shoe store the way they used to be. But we work a lot with the doctors. They send patients and stuff to us. Or if people just have their own foot problem and they want to go to a place where somebody actually knows stuff. What I got on my face? Does something on my face? <laughs> Where people actually know something, know about foot problems, know about what shoes will match, not just uh, hand you a box and be like, there you go, give me my commission. That's what we're all about. We've been in business for 18 years and going strong. We bought this business. It was a franchise originally. We Basically, it was originally a franchise, which if you're interested in any type of franchise, I could do an entire video on how to evaluate that. Most franchises are complete crap. They want to promise things, but then when the rubber meets the road, meaning it costs money and they staff, they won't live up to their promises. So yeah. most franchises are not worth investing in. But we did, and we yes. did that for many, many years. We did that for a while, and then myself and a few of the other remaining franchisees, we broke away and started our own name, basically working the way we should have been working together. And that was nine, how long have we been in the house? We did all that. Nine years ago. Nine years ago. So when we first got married, we had like crap jobs. It was a crap shoot. And Jason was trying to decide, you know, kind of what path he wanted to go down. He had done business management and marketing in college. Stay in this. He had done all of that in college, didn't really know what to do with like. Well, I wanted to be that. in the outdoor industry. Yeah. I worked in specialty shops, stuff like that. But the outdoor industry is extremely small. Yeah, he did some other options, which were, were kind of cool. If you want to know about one of the jobs he actually applied for, if you want to tell him. I think we've mentioned it before. I think it's um, kind of a cool thing. Whatever, it's 
CIA. Yeah, he applied for I the CIA. I did the whole and CIA recruitment thing. He got cleared at DC and did the whole week of interviews and anyway, but he didn't get into that. Um, and so it was at he, the same time we were looking into this business. Into this business. So I took a break from looking into this business to pursue that. Yeah. Uh, but what we liked about this business is that we're actually helping people. Yeah, that um, was the biggest thing is that we were helping people. It's constant learning. Yeah. Constantly, uh, you know, you're helping people. People come in and they're recovering from surgery or debilitated and they haven't been able to walk or be comfortable for years sometimes and we can help them and they're in tears many times or they're super grateful. Yeah. It's, uh, it's really nice. It's fun to help people and quality of life improvement. So that's, that's what we like about it. Another plus in the beginning, uh, we hired one of our employees from a hair salon. She was the well, receptionist. Well, before that, we hired a person that I worked at with an outdoor store. That's who I started. Yeah. That's who we first started with. But we hired one of the ladies. Uh, we realized while we were talking to her, while he was getting a haircut, that she probably had neuropathy because she had diabetes and she was having foot pain. And we started talking to her about it and telling her you need to come up to our clinic that we do for diabetes. And and within a week she was hired and, and working for us and she had fixed her foot pain and gotten the medical help that she needed and the foot care that she needed. She literally was in a, a bad place with her feet. A lot of that kind of stuff, I know we complain now about our employees, but some of our employees from the past have changed We actually have really lives. good people. We're just kind of talking in general. I mean, we have good people. Yeah. Uh, sure, there's always some that aren't overly your favorite, but. Okay, we're gonna take a little break really quick and go into this cute little Bavarian chocolate candy store. It's called Bowen's. It's pretty iconic for our little town here. Look how cute this is. We're gonna go in and get some chocolates for the girls. Chocolates for his girls. Yes. This is already a long-winded conversation, which is why we, oh, the grass is really moist, favorite word. <laughs> um, anyway, it's moist. It's squishy. It's squishy, hang on. All right, so we're gonna wrap this up a little bit here. There we go, I've got something to put my hand on. <laughs> uh, so we are coming up our 19th anniversary for doing this business, which is insane to me. We started it two years into getting married. So we had no kids. No kids. I wanted kids, but we didn't, couldn't. We needed to get the business going before I could have kids. <laughs> a little drop there. A little, a little yeah, little. but it's been good. And you know, it's not, we're it, not millionaires. No, no, we are we're, we're not mill. making as much money as we initially thought. No. But we're, st we're obviously providing for our family. We have extra time. We've managed to, Dana's great at using points. Mm -hmm. So it's provided for our family. I do like that we are helping people and we've had great people working for us. We've had amazing customers and you know, we'll just keep going. I mean, at some point, obviously we need to retire or do something, but uh, yeah. it's been it's been good. I mean, there's far worse things we could have been doing. You know, could have been laid off, fired. That's one advantage to having your own job is you're the last person to get go unemployed. <laughs> I would have fired him a long time ago. Just kidding. <laughs> it has You'd have to show up to work to do that. Oh. oh, that was one of the questions. Do I work there? And the answer is no. For the first, what, year and a half or two before I had Kaylee, I worked there every Saturday. And then. Uh, I don't remember that. Oh, I yeah. I worked there every Saturday. And then what? about twice a month, your mom came up with me. And she would and, well, do. Well, she would show the bills. accounting. Yeah, she would do she accounting. She would help with accounting and stuff. I don't remember you working there. I came up every Saturday. I remember you working like one or two events that we no, had. No, I came up every. I love how he I don't remember you at all. remembers my contribution to this business uh, but I worked full-time for a majority of beginning years just because that was our only source of income and then I had Kaylee and that was too hard to come up on Saturdays because then I had her and then I still worked until I had Abby and then I worked at night at the mall to After be able to years, work I was yeah that. so it's it's been it's been good yeah I mean you know uh, like I said if you're thinking of owning your own business research it's, it it's different uh, than you think it's, it's going to be but it, right now it there's a lot of perks we don't pay ourselves a lot of money we pay ourselves to live and then the perks of the business help like points 
they help make it possible for us to go to Hawaii, like we're going to. And so... Yeah, if you watch like our videos, the way we're able to go to Hawaii is not because we have lots of money. No. It's because we can earn points on credit cards and stuff really fast. Really fast. Because of the inventory yeah. and the purchases he has to do for the store, that earns us points faster than just your regular family would earn points yeah. just from a regular credit card buying groceries. And so that's how we can afford to do these trips because we make our points work to our advantage. So we don't have millions of dollars just being able to willy-nilly go off on vacation whenever we want to. Hopefully that'll be our cryptocurrency. <laughs> yeah, we hope that one takes off. But I just hope that you guys got a glimpse into what he does. And so when I say he's working today or he's not working or it's his normal day off but he has to work, that's why we have the flexibility of him being able to like work during the week and not work during the week. Um, so if you have any questions about what we do or business or anything mm -hmm. like that, I love talking with people about business ideas, what they do, how to make things better. Leave comments below. I will totally respond in paragraphs if I need to. But uh, yeah, seriously, any questions or anything like that, whether it's about how do you make points work? I have my own business. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we didn't have money to begin. This. We took out loans. We got business yeah, loans. Yeah, small business. So we had to have some of our money, but it was small amount yeah. compared. But but he hasn't had. We haven't been in debt for the business for since the first we got out. Yeah, we yeah, got out of so. debt in the first couple years. So you know we are lucky that we are still going through this whole pandemic, and it's doing better than no. We're really lucky. We ever expected um, it to be. So there's a lot of people that have gone out of business either through retiring because they're like, okay, I'm old enough, I'm out, or unfortunately closing their doors because of supply issues, cash flow, mm -hmm. landlords, and so we're lucky. And anybody you know that's had their business go under, feel for you. Yeah. Um, I know hard. some people have asked us, do we have a website, web, an online presence to be able to support our, our store and being able to buy shoes because they're regular shoes. They're Brooks and Asics and they're and stuff. regular shoes, but we don't have an online presence. It's an well, in-store. We, we, we have a website, website, but we don't sell online because we're all about fitting you yeah. and stuff like that. And so we appreciate that. Uh, if you're in Seattle. <laughs> yeah. So come by the store there, you know, it's, yeah. and we haven't really said what it is, but it's Soul Perfection Shoes. SoulPerfectionShoes.com or whatever if you want to see what we do. Yeah. Um, but anyways, yeah, we're all about fitting people. That's why we don't sell online. Yeah. That kind of you lose that entire niche if you sell online. One thing that Jason also does is meet with the reps, whether it's in store or in hotels or at conventions, and he goes over the new collections for the next season and he looks at the new models, the new versions, and new colors, and then puts in a bulk order to save money. So I hope that gives a little bit more insight into who we are and let us know if you have any questions and thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for watching. Again, seriously, I'll answer any questions, go as in, deep, in depth as I can. But yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe. See you next time. More. Bye guys.